Amar, I run Papyrus, our uh, e Egyptian uh, restaurant on the damn fort. Eat like an Egyptian. Uh, basically, our food philosophy is to maintain a short menu and uh, focus on a few dishes and execute them really well. We use really fine ingredients. We have our own proprietary cooking methods that are both family-based and authentic. Um, and uh, the last thing is we like to do is uh, serve the food fresh. Uh, these are very important for us. Um, Egyptians uh, are non-vegetarian for the most part. Um, having said this, they have created all these wonderful uh, vegetarian and vegan dishes that they eat on a day-to-day -day basis. So the good news, these dishes are full of flavor and they're enjoyed by everyone, not just the vegetarians. And these are the dishes that we focus on. Uh, we like these dishes as well because we are concerned for the environment and we think plant-based food, obviously, as most people know, is healthier and better for, uh, for our planet. Uh, the other thing too that we try to do is to maintain some progressive values. So for example, we uh, use plant-based packaging for our takeout orders uh, at great cost, but we think it's worth it. I have to say my favorite appetizer is the basara. It's a puree of beans and fresh herbs and it's topped with caramelized onions and just so full of flavor and it's so uh, comforting. Um, as far as my mains, if I'm having lunch, I really like a tameya. Tameya is like similar to falafel, only it's, full of, it's made with fava beans instead of chickpeas. As for my dinner, I really like my kushari. Kushari is a very interesting dish. Some say it's the national dish of Egypt, but we can argue about that. But uh, it's a bed of rice and lentils, then we add a layer of pasta on top. The pasta there is only for texture, it's not a pasta dish at all. And then there is, we add some spicy sauce, and at the end we finish it with caramelized onions. This is actually our most popular item and it's full of delicious flavors. We've actually had uh, a very high approval from the Egyptian community and living in uh, Toronto and that's not always easy to get, so thumbs up for that. Now as far as desserts, I can't make up my mind. We've got um, kunafa, we've got mastic ice cream with pistachios. We even have a, an ice cream which is not Egyptian, it's Iranian uh, inspired flavors, saffron and rose water. But I love this, these flavors so much, I had to make them. And finally, what's been very popular is the lemon mint sorbet. Uh, it's made with fresh lemons and fresh mints, and that's uh, the, the ingredients are very simple. We have our own proprietary way of making the sorbet, and it's a perfect finish for flavorful meal.